So now, let's move on to another great aspect of your gut microbiome, which really involves the reset of the gut microbiome. Because, you know, when with your gut microbiome, um, you know, it, it will involve the occasional reset. Um, and, you know, I, I think that this could be quarterly. Uh, when, when I went um, plant-based, it was told like I didn't need as much resets anymore. In fact, I don't need any resets now. So I'm really happy about that. But basically, you know, a colon cleanse is necessary because um, your colon can only take so much. And especially if you're getting uh, different types of protein, especially if you're getting animal protein and, you know, you're, 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 you're of some sort, and you're, you know, your colon uh, goes through a process called uh, protein fermentation. And so basically, your, your, your colon can get clogged up. And so there is such a thing as too much protein studies show that, you know, you can actually have uh, a, a situation where, you know, because of the protein overload, it can lead to all different sorts of uh, challenges such as osteoporosis and whatnot. So, you know, it is important to recognize the right sort of balance. But if and when you may feel like, you know, your gut is feeling a little bit um, funny or funky, or if you're experiencing bloating, constipation, uh, you know, just stuff related to your stomach, uh, you know, a common cleanse maybe something that you really want to look at yeah and you know basically because of how much the environment has changed due to industrialization and now you know we're going through another shift uh, another paradigm shift in the information age um, but anyway because of industrialization basically there are a lot more toxins in the environment and that can contribute to the average person having about 25 pounds of toxin buildup in the colon and this can significantly impact health uh, when it comes to your immune system, when it comes to anti-aging, when it comes to your mood, when it comes to your energy levels. Um, so if you are experiencing symptoms where you're feeling exhausted or you're feeling a lack of motivation or you're experiencing sleep challenges or you're experiencing bowel challenges, um, or you're experiencing skin challenges such as breakouts, um, fatigue. These are all symptoms that your colon might be overloaded when it comes to the uh, toxin load, mm -hmm. the toxic load. Um, in that case, it's very important that you go through the 15 day rapid colon cleanse to really, really like um, start your journey off correctly. Yeah, I really love this product. There have been many times this product has saved my butt yeah. because literally I'm like, I don't know what to do. And you know this, yeah. like, you know, and it's like you can just, you know, with your digestion. And I will also say like, and I, I know that this sounds a little gross, but you know, you'll sometimes know with your stool um, because your stool is a really good indicator. Is it hard? Is it, uh, you know, is there maybe it's kind of like, uh, you know, kind of, uh, solid like but it to the point where it's like really 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 hard almost like you know like it's not doesn't look normal in the sense that where um, if, if, if you and I know I know I know I'm describing stools here but hear me out because it is really important to, to understand um, because when a when a stool is actually like soft and, and it comes out like and, and the food looks well digested I mean, you know that like your, your gut is doing what it's supposed to and especially when it's being processed really well and whatnot. But if it's not being processed well and if it seems like very tough to, 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 to actually go to the washroom and whatnot, those are very clear indications that you, you could really use a gut reset. And, and so basically to also give your colon a break too, um, this is where, you know, to be able to also, you know, uh, help excrete different sorts of toxins I mean, a 15, our 15 day uh, colon cleanse is fantastic. I mean, it, it, not only that, like we've had so many customers uh, tell us such incredible things, have such great results. And also they share their funny stories about their trips to the washrooms because it is a natural accident. I mean, that's the whole point. You're doing a gut reset, but while that is happening, because we've got 
great ingredients in here like senna leaf, psyllium husk, uh, licorice root. Uh, there's so many different kinds, you know, and what I really love about it is it's also got seven, it's actually got uh, Lactobacillus acidophilus. We've got 50 milligrams of that and that is, I'm so happy about that because it's a bit of probiotics because mm -hmm. as you're resetting your gut, um, you know, you're also replenishing it and replacing it with uh, the, the, the good guys. The good guys. The probiotic that is proven to be the most effective. Yes. Mm. Yes. So it's just two a day. I mean, you really mm. take it. And it's, a, it's basically yeah. a 15 day program. And you stick with it. Yes. And you love it. You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know it's super uncomfortable for the first two to three days, but then you get the hang of it. Um, it's also very important while you're doing the cleanse to really support your diet with, you know, lots of leafy green vegetables, um, lots of good quality fruits and vegetables, dried fruits, mm -hmm. uh, nuts plant and based. seeds, plant-based, exactly. Yeah. Lots and lots of water. Um, tea is also really good. Soups are amazing, um, especially for dinner like uh, my whole life completely changed when and I know I'm saying that as if I've been doing it for a long time um, but basically uh, you know it's been a couple of weeks since I replaced my dinner with just soup um, and it's been really really helpful so making really good quality soups and having soups for dinner um, and making sure that you eat uh, I would say four to five hours before you go to bed um, would be really really good during the time that you do the cleanse mm -hmm. and drinking lots of water and teas yeah and and so limiting caffeine limiting caffeine making sure that you're not having sugar and alcohol during that phase but don't be so hard on yourself um it's okay to slip up here and there mm -hmm.